Hey everybody, it's Cena again. Uh, I kind of switched positions from the first video. Um, I've already filmed this video. Um, I This is my second take of this one because I saw that my sound button was muted on here and I thought that it wouldn't pick up my voice and in fact it did. So yeah, I'm redoing this video. But anyways, this one is, um, I'm comparing six um, mascaras that I have that I have gotten to use over a period of time, so I really have a good, um, you know, have a really honest review to show you guys. Um, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Um, we'll start out with um, one that's been getting mixed reviews a lot, and that would be the CoverGirl um, Lash Blast Fusion, and that's the purple one. There's going to be a glare because I'm sitting in front of my window right now. Anyways, um, very mixed reviews on this one here. Uh, it's got the huge wand, like so. Um, it's got rubber brish, brish, the brish bristles, um, which you know, you know. At first, I liked this stuff. I thought it was really good, but then I realized that all it does for me is just separate my lashes. And I have very, I don't re really have very many lashes as it is. So I need the extra volume that any mascara can give me, and this does not do it. I have not tried the um, orange kind before, but I don't think I will just because I have heard mixed reviews on that. People either like it or they don't. This is not going to be one that I'm going to repurchase again. It just does nothing for my lashes. And to be quite honest with you, any mascara that has this rubber, rubber brush to it, does not do anything for my lashes. I need an actual, like, the actual brush, you know, with the bristles on it, the brush ones. Um, okay, with that said, I have another one here with a rubber... That's my cat. She's in heat right now, so she's making a lot of noise. Um, oh, shoot, I forgot one. Okay, sorry. Forgot a mascara. Alright, this one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And the reason, the only reason, why I bought this one is because I saw it on TV, I uh, advertised, and it had this itsy bitsy brush. Isn't that cute? Like so. This is in black. Um, this is, a. Uh, it's very, very flexible, if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just wiggling the brush. Um, this is capable of getting in real close and really adding volume to the one, the lashes that don't don't get the volume the first time with another mascara, but I cannot use this stuff alone, which I don't like. I don't like having to double up my mascara. If one doesn't work, then I have to put another one over the top of it. I mean, what a hassle, really. Um, I do like that it's really small and that you can get in close to the, you know, to the small lashes, but again, it's another rubber, rubber, um, bristle, uh, wand here and those really don't work for me oh I forgot to mention that this costed about eight bucks at Walmart and the lash blast costed about the same of course the prices are gonna vary from store to store um, okay so I have another one here that has been very very mixed reviews I mean another it's another one of those people like it or they hate it um, it's been compared to um, the colossal lash lashes mascara and this would be the Maybelline falsies la mascara this one right here now everybody I know went out and bought this because of the name and it it claims it's gonna be able to give you the appearance of wearing false lashes which I knew was a bunch of you know because nothing's gonna make you look like you got false lashes unless you got false lashes on in my opinion and if there is a mascara out there that like give really gives you that look, I need to know about it. <laughs> but anyways, this has a spoon brush. Um, this is not the waterproof kind. I do not wear waterproof eye uh, mascara because I don't like to have to, you know, tug on my lashes because there's barely any there in the first place. So I don't want to rip them out. This has a spoon brush. Um, if you can see, there's a curve. I don't know if you can or not. There is somewhat. See that curve there? It's kind of flat. 
like so. There's a very specific way you're supposed to use this. You're supposed to put the spoon towards your lashes like so and scoop it up. Kind of like a scoop. So really just a kind of twist of your arm. Just a, just like trying to do it like as I was. Anyways, I'll put it on. Flat towards part, the flat part goes towards your lashes and then you scoop it up. Kind of like a circle. Like so. As you can tell, this stuff works really nice on my lashes. Doesn't give me false lashes, of course. But, um, this stuff's pretty good. I like it. It's just got the regular, um, brush to it, too. Does it look like I got false lashes on? No. Oh, and also, this has been said to have little fibers in it, which until I heard that, I didn't know that, but it does. I can see the fibers, and you might be able to see them, but my camera's really not that good. Um, let me dip it in here again. See all those little pokey things, you know, kind of poking up? Yeah, those are little fibers, so I guess that's what that has in it to make your lashes look false. This I would buy again. I like the way that it makes my lashes look. And it's about $7, I think, at Walmart. Okay, next is one that I, it's a must-have in my collection. And I'll always have this in my collection, excuse me. Um, it's the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. This is not the waterproof kind again. This just has that itsy bitsy brush. And of course, I don't know anybody who can use this stuff alone. But what I like is that I can get uh, down on the bottom on my very few lashes that I have on the bottom and I can really make them stand out. I can also get in on the inner corner of my eye and make those lashes stand out as well. So this is a must-have. This is around five or six bucks. Actually, more probably close to six to seven bucks at, at my Walmart. Um... This is a must-have. This will always be in my collection unless I find something better. Okay, now to my three top favorite mascaras that I will always have um, in my collection at all times is, they're not in any particular order either, um, but it's the, let's see here, the L'Oreal Voluminous carbon black mascara now everybody has heard of this stuff and has heard the reviews on this and how great this stuff is and really it is very great I cannot I, I cannot believe when I tried this I could not believe how it made my lashes look I was like oh wow and um it's just got the regular uh, applicator nothing special and it really makes my lashes <laughs> um stand out and it really volumizes them not too over the top but it looks great I love this stuff um, this is about six dollars at Walmart I paid for this this is a must-have in my collection I will never ever ever be without this I just love it so much next is the The Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. Sorry about that glare. Shush! She don't listen. Anyways, um, this is the one that is uh, by Revlon. Revlon by Fabulash Mascara. And it claims to help complement the natural growth cycle of your lashes. Well, I haven't really noticed any difference. Maybe I have. I don't know. But this has an outrageously big brush, which I was not expecting. <laughs> See that? But it really is really good stuff. It makes my lashes look huge. Um, I really like that. Um, it just, I'm putting so many layers of mascara on that. It's starting to look chunky. Anyways, 
this stuff is really, really good. Um, I'm very impressed with this, because I've heard people don't like it, and there's people out there that love it. Um, as far as the, you know, growth cycle thing, I have not noticed anything major. I haven't woken up, you know, the next day and saw that my lashes were, like, up to my eyebrows. <laughs> so, but this stuff I really love. It gives me volume, and it gives me length. <sighs> love it. And this is about 8 bucks at Walmart, I believe. And lastly, um, another one of my favorites, this is a high-end mascara, and it's by Clinique, and it's called The Lash Doubling Mascara, and this is in black, yep, black, comes in a green teal tube like this, by Clinique, and it has just a regular, regular kind of, uh, angled brush, goes goes from big to small kind of like so now uh, what led me to this is because I I shop with Clinique a lot I have a lot of their products and you know like a lot of places they have those gifts you know you buy a certain amount of stuff and you get like a little travel gift set with sample size stuff well um, I had two sample sizes of this and I was using that mascara and I loved it in fact it replaced all of my mascaras that I had from the drugstore this stuff, I will never be without. You know, well, yes, it's uh, 14 to $16, which is, to me, is a little outrageous for a damn mascara. <laughs> but this stuff works. Um, the formula is a little wet. It's wetter than any of the ones that I've mentioned in this video. But I just, I love it. You know, and I also have sensitive eyes, so I have to be kind of careful of what I use on my eye eyelids and eyes. But... This stuff is amazing. Um, I can use this for the top and the bottom because the brush is angled like that. Um, I think I said the formula was pretty wet. Yeah. But I love this stuff. And this is the first time I've had the full size because I've had two of the little trial ones and I've used them all up. Um, I would, you know, I'm not one to spend too much on mascaras because I think mascaras it's only about you know the wand really in some cases because the wand makes the difference but anyways this this stuff is my is one of my favorites and I will never be without this so all in all the ones that will never ever I will never be without in my collection are as follows is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black the Revlon Grow Luscious Maybelline Lash Discovery and the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. These, you know, I could throw the rest of these away because I love them all so much. So, I hope you enjoyed this little review on mascaras. And sorry if the camera was kind of wobbly. Wobbly. Can't talk today. Um, but I hope you all are doing very good. So, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.